Norfolk, Virginia is where we will be spending the next five years. We didn't choose Norfolk for Norfolk, but instead, good old ODU, Old Dominion University. This football team has had zero success in their time and tenure as a football program. And in five years, I hope to bring this program to absolute dominance. Shout out to the ODU fans out there in Norfolk holding it down because this is the Old Dominion University rebuild. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get into this rebuild, man. So we're gonna go ahead and start off. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get the coach going. All right, get my main man. We gotta go ahead and get my main man, EJ Smith, in the game. Let's go ahead and get Coach Smith together. Um, I'm actually excited about this rebuild. Like I said, I have no idea. Um, I don't know how good ODU is, but when I did look it up, they, they were a struggling program. I know they're on the newer end, so like I'm gonna cut them some slack. I'm gonna cut you uh, ODU fans some slack out here, but hey man, gotta gotta be honest. So here we go. Uh, Florida's my team, I'm a model Florida, so we're gonna be running Florida offense for the time being. I'm not sure what kind of players we got on ODU, but we're gonna figure it out anyway. So here we go, four threes is always a pretty good standard to go from, so we're gonna go ahead and go here. Uh, first things first, I gotta wanna go ahead and show you guys. Um, we're not gonna auto generate the names, but all difficulty, varsity, we're gonna bring it up, Heisman. We're gonna go Heisman on this rebuild. We're gonna go all the way out. We're gonna keep it standard at five minute quarters. Um, six, no, five, I think five. And then I like to play the game very fast. Um, for me, I just like it sped up that way. So let's go ahead and get into this, man. Just a little, little confirm the settings right here, see what we got going on. We're not gonna worry about conferences or anything like that. We just gonna rock out what we are now and then we're gonna build our way. Obviously, hopefully we can build up to a point and get to um, you know a better conference, but for now we're just gonna rock with whatever conference ODU is in. So we'll see, man. We're gonna go ahead and start this season up. First things first, like I said, I wanna take you guys through the whole process. I wanna walk you guys through my recruiting process. Um, the funny thing about the rec recruiting process is um, we're going to recruit, but the only thing that I will say is that I'm going to make it a little bit challenging. I'm going to only recruit players from the DMV, uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia. Those are the only three player, uh, three states that I can go ahead and recruit players from. Um, as you can see, two-star ODU here. They ha have no record in the game, so it's going to be like starting off fresh. We're going to build this program from scratch. So the goal is to obviously take ODU, turn them to what like what they are now to hopefully a powerhouse. Um, and we're gonna do this within five years. As you see the contract right there, contract is uh, 2013 to 2018. We're gonna try to get it done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go through this whole thing. Now with the prospects, uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and add about 14 to 15 prospects on my list and I'm gonna have the game uh, auto-generate the rest. So you, you know, you guys, um, be able to see that all filled out when it's all said and done but I don't want to get too deep into it like I said there's there's 14 guys that I'm probably gonna pinpoint um, but for the most part we're just gonna kind of go ahead and let uh, CPU go ahead and fill out the rest of the uh, the uh, slots that we have there so like I said when we're recruiting only DMV so we're gonna start off in Virginia it's only right to start off at our home state um, and we got to get a little bit of everything I said some four stars, some three stars, some two stars, one stars, anybody that we can get in the program and honestly develop. So that's going to be really big. I think, uh, you know, going in the future, is just being able to get guys in the door, um, being able to get guys to commit to ODU and then, you know, grooming them from, uh, you know, in-house. So, you know, we, we definitely don't want to discriminate. We definitely don't want to go all five stars because I can tell you right now, nobody's committing to ODU. I'm sorry. To all you ODU fans out there, but this is this 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 rebuild. This is probably the best you're gonna get. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do, we want to go ahead and red shirt. So the way I'm gonna go about this red shirt situation, honestly, we need to have reserves. So we need to start a reserves. I'm gonna go ahead and red shirt majority of my sophomores and freshmen. I I want to make sure that I'm saving that year of eligibility. Um, you know, you guys, we got, it looks like we got a lot of red shirts, but I want to definitely go ahead and have a young team. So we're going to red shirt a lot of these guys um, to preserve uh, eligibility. I don't foresee our first year doing so well. 
target win only five obviously the goal is six wins six wins get you to the bowl game that's what we want that's the standard ej smith wants but um like i said we need reserves so we're not gonna uh you know red shirt anybody where where we're, where we're thin on the depth chart but if we do have enough uh reserves and we have enough uh, uh substitutions guys are gonna get red shirted to uh preserve so these sophomores are gonna get red shirted for sure uh, because we have so much depth at this position. No outside, uh, left outside linebackers. Can't really redshirt uh, middle linebackers. Uh, right, definitely freshman, gonna preserve that. Um, well, like I said, the reason why I'm doing this, I just wanna preserve eligibility. I wanna be able to have a young team. I wanna be able to grow. So like, you know, when we have the incoming class of freshmen, uh, these guys that are redshirted and stuff like that, we're just gonna go on to build, like I said, five years to try to turn this program into a fire, uh, not a fire, into a powerhouse um, sooner. Obviously would be better, but hey, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. All right, so the next thing I wanna get into, custom schedules. This is very important. I'm looking for at least a B. I don't want anything lower than a B. Um, all these FCS schools, FBS generics, like these guys are coming off. Like again, you know, in order to to to, to be the standard, you know, you, you know, to set the standard, you got to be the standard. Okay, it's kind of OP, OP guys, OP guys for sure. Uh, Tennessee, uh, UCF. I think UCF is good. Like I said, I'm a Florida boy, man. So like. You know, they're, they're a very, very good program. Um, very good, actually. They may, based on this list, they may actually may be the best team that we play this year based on how good they are. But I think I think I'd be up for the challenge. I think Wyoming, I, I, maybe Wyoming, maybe Buffalo. I'm thinking Wyoming, heading out west. Uh, that could be good. Like I said, those guys are god awful, but at least they're still competitive enough, I think. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we're having an adequate amount of home games as well. Right, so, no there. Let's just go ahead and try Fresno. There you go. Yeah, Fresno. Fresno State has to come off. Virginia's in. That brings us down to a B-, minus, but it's okay. I think this is a rivalry game that we need, especially at week six. Uh, depending on how the season's going, we got to make sure the boys are amped up. So, I think it's a solid schedule. Wow. <laughs> Alabama. I think this is a solid schedule. Um... I think I can take this for what it is. I, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this game. But the first thing I need to see, I need to see who Lee's rocking with. And it looks like Lee is rocking with ECU. Rightfully so. They are ranked higher than us overall, offensively and defensively. But hopefully we can go ahead and upset this ECU team. Shout out to you, Lee. Although I, I rock with you, that's not a great take. Um, wow. So 74 overall, 74 overall, 75. Uh, we got our work cut out for us, but you know what I mean? This is game one. This is just basically going to set the standard for us. I think, uh, if we come out here, you know, showing, uh, ECU that we're not, you know, we're not playing games. We're coming here to grow. I think that's going to be real good. So we're going to go ahead and start off. I think the all white is important. Navy helmet. I think that's a solid way. Make a statement. Got to look fresh. You look good. You play good. All that good stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. I said, I'm super excited to go ahead and get this uh, rebuild going on. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Hit that subscription button. Go ahead and follow this ODU rebuild. Um, in addition to the rebuild, I definitely will be having other videos dropping, um, you know, between the rebuilds and so on and so forth. Um, but like I said, we're just trying to have fun here. We're just trying to do a little rebuild. Again, building up the hype, the anticipation of the new NCAA game. It's been 10 years, guys. So, you know, building up the hype to get to that point. Um, like I said, I'll, you know, this channel won't be strictly all NCAA stuff, but I will be covering a lot of NCAA content because college football is the greatest Hi, everybody. Ever. Reese Davis I mean, with you, bringing you the EA All right, so we're going to get NCAA into this game, man. We are on the road at ECU Innovation in North Carolina. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. The uh, we are not the favorites in today's over. game, Dowdy, but Stadium in I'm on sticks, North Carolina so that's a problem. All right, so here we go. ESPN College Football, Old Dominion, East Carolina. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and head to the head uh, coin toss right now. We got... We're going to go heads. We're going to go heads. I know tails never fails, but we're going to go heads, and it is heads. 
we're gonna go ahead and kick the ball. I want to go ahead and make a statement defensively. Let East uh, East Carolina know how we coming. So we're gonna make a statement here. Like I said, start off on defense. That's gonna be very important for us to start off on defense. Make a statement. We'll let them know again how we coming. Kickoff. All right. So half field, half field going. There we go. Half field is heading. He's to the twenty. He's tackled at the twenty. All right. So we're going to hop around. You know, I'll probably try my best. I'm going to try my best to stay on the safety, but I do love to play the D-line when we need to bring pressure. Here we go. Uh, Al Alers, drop back. Can't get there. Easy first. They're starting off the game with a first down, and that is, uh, you know, not a way we want to start the game off. Like I said, we want to make sure that we're applying pressure. So. All right, here we go. Mitchell in the backfield, no go, no sir. Yes sir, defense making a statement. I said we want to run the ball, we want to be run stoppers. That's who we want to be. That's who we want to be. That's going to be the identity of the team, man. We run the ball and we stop the run. That's the goal. All right, here we go. Second and 11. Here we coming around, Mitchell. Nice pickup of eight, nice pickup of eight. Can't, 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 can't be mad at that one. Can not be mad at that one. All righty, so we're going to go ahead and blow. We're bringing the house. We're going to go ahead and bring the house on third and three. Like I said, I want to set the tone defensively. Let them know how we're coming out the game. Here we go. Straight down the middle. And that's super easy. For Jones and we missed the tackle. And Jones picks up 22. Easy 22. All right, so we got to lock down a little bit. Maybe not the best decision by the defensive coordinator to uh, bring the house on that play action. But they ran it perfectly. Um, and they are just driving us down the field. Here we go. We got the spy Henderson, our star linebacker sophomore here. Running, waiting. We couldn't get there. And oh. They called a face mask. They called a face mask. And that, that blows. That definitely blows. Okay. Concentration All right. right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First down and goal to go. First and goal. ECU knocking at the door. See if we can bring the house again. Like I said, we gotta, we we gotta, we gotta make a defensive statement. We can't. There we go. We get to stop. Four yards. Not too bad. I'll take it any day. Second and goal. Here we go. Same thing. We gotta bring the house. Actually, let's go, man. Let's go, man. I want, I want to see what our, uh, our DBs are like. And nothing. Okay. So. The goal was obviously to make a defensive statement out the gate. Um, we couldn't do that. We give up six, seven plays, 69 yards. That's light work. So we're going to come out on offense. We're going to make a statement on offense. we got to make sure that we get back. But, oh, wow. The Buffalo. What's going on with Buffalo in the shoot? Mm. Buffalo with the upset? We'll see. We'll see. First game, coach at ODU, EJ Smith. We're going to get it right, man. I said we come out a little flat on defense, but we'll make up for it with our offense. So let's go ahead and get to the money. All right, so I said I want to set the tone. We got to run the ball. I want to set the tone as a running team, so we're going to pound the rock. You know what I'm saying? We are going to pound the rock. The goal is at least 150 rushing yards for the team goal. I think that would be easily achievable with the scrambling quarterback. Uh, we'll start off with the read option. Uh, right away, he's gonna go ahead and sit on that, so we're gonna go ahead and take that. And nice Wicks run. get an easy four. Like I said, I don't need 10, 20 yards every play. We can chunk at it. You know what I'm saying? We can chunk at it. Every four, four yards rushing gives me a first down. Every, 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 every drop. You know what I'm saying? Easy. There we go. Way to move. Four yards rushing gives me gives me a first down every play. So, Keyshawn Wicks out the gate already coming out strong. This is what I like to see. Like I said, set the tone with the run. Now we're going to try to bust it open with the pass. I got my guy off to the left. See if we can get out there. Nope. Easy check down. Easy check down. Like I said, it's clockwork. Moving the ball. Being confident in the offense. And I think that's going to be, uh, that's going to help us prevail. A um, little bit of pass, pass, run. Uh, like I said, but we're going to be dominant on the run. We're going to go ahead and keep that. Mac easily moving, 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 moving in the right direction. DJ Mac Jr., 14-yard rush out the gate. Like I said, in order for us to build this powerhouse, we have to be a run-heavy team. We're going to go ahead and pound a rock. I don't see none of my guys are tired, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get the pass off. 
Can we get it easy? Right Our star receiver, Ali Jennings, the third with a 15-yard touchdown reception. Man, I'm such a gator. I wanted to be like this, but ODU, I got to figure out what the ODU thing is. I don't know uh, what their little thing is, but we're going to figure it out as the series progresses. But easily coming out the gate, scoring the 15-yard touchdown alley. That was that was nice. So we tied up the game. Like I said, we didn't we weren't able to make the statement on defense. Um, Let's catch you up to date on what happened. Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. I don't know what's going on in the shoe, but they're doing what they're supposed to do. But um, we weren't able to make the uh, adjustments that we needed on defense, but we were able to capitalize on offense to keep us in this game. So let's see if we can go ahead and make these adjustments on defense. So here we go. 50 seconds left in the first. We're doing pretty well so far. They're coming on the end of round, and I just completely botched two tackles. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Only thing about this game, you got to get used to the mechanics. I mean, you can't, like, if you take bad angles in this game, I mean, it's bad. It's like you lunge. It's, it's just ridiculous. So not the defensive outing that I wanted, but. So offense of has quarter, impressed me. I'm proud. I think, you know, to be the underdogs in this uh, matchup right now, 7-7, seven, seven, I'm only happy only with it. Let's go ahead and get the second quarter underway. Game, Here we go. All righty. All right, second quarter, they're going to start off with a play action. Here we go. Play action. Ah, I missed it. I missed it. Here I go. Here I go. Got him. Yeah, yeah, so that can't happen. Um, that, that can't happen. Like, we, 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 we can't, I can't be the reason. Yeah, I can't be missing tackles like that. I got to, I sealed the edge. I did what I was supposed to do. I contained, but I just couldn't come up with the tackle. And yeah, uh, the quarterback went berserk on that one. So, let's see what we can do here. Like I said, if they're running the ball. He just got pancake, absolutely pancake. And Mitchell puts up another... 16 and yeah look at that pancake we have some liabilities and we got to fill those gaps so let's see if we can go ahead and here we go and like nothing they're back in the end zone again he's five for five 61 yards two touchdowns and it's only the second quarter i'm loving the offensive line i'm loving our, our contribution to the backfield uh we're gonna see if we way to read that Nice. Way to pick up six from the backup. Blake Watson. I love this. Two yard. I mean, two rushes, 13 yards, averaging 6.5 already. This is the kind of contributions that we're going to need in order for us to have a successful season. Uh, we got to get contribution from everybody. I'm going to go ahead and space them out, spread them out. Third and eight. I'm going to go ahead and go with a QB draw. I think this is a perfect draw. Look at how much space we got there in the middle. Um, I think this is going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that QB draw. See if I can pick up the first. Use the legs, quarterback legs. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Had to slide on that one. Fourth and one. Had to slide on that one because, once again, I, I don't know the state of this, but fourth and one, we have to go for it. I'm going to try to see if I can get him off sides with a couple uh, 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 false calls. Um, let's see what we can do. We'll go with the draw again. Uh, let's see if we can get him off side with a couple uh, false calls. Um, if not, we're going to think about this, but we're kind of in that weird the space. Yeah, we call it time out. Couldn't get him out there. We're in that weird space where it's kind of like you don't punt it, but you go for it. So we're definitely going to go ahead and try to get get that one. I think our offensive line has been making a beautiful push. I think our running backs have been great. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna play old school ball. We're going to get on the line just straight up the middle. Your 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 line against my line. That's, that's exactly how we're going to do this right now. Try to get them off sides. We can't get them off sides. They're disciplined. Easy, Gets to about easy, the easy, easy. Line. I didn't expect anything less. Keyshawn Wicks has been doing his job on the ground. Keep the drive alive. Here we go. And we're sustaining such a beautiful drive. We have had the ball basically since the beginning of the fourth. I mean, uh, fourth, beginning of the second. But we got to make a, a push for the end zone now. Starting to get under two minutes now. Um, like I said, we've been sustaining the drive, but right now it has been a little flat, so I just want to make sure that we don't get complacent. So we're going to go ahead and uh, play action that. And A, my tight end was there. But I could just not get to him. You can't find a receiver. I could not get to him. Get out of the throw the ball away. Fourth and nine. Like I said, we're in that weird space where we don't punt it, so I think we go for it. Um, we're going to go through the arrow on this one. We're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. See who's there. What can we do? Can we do anything? Run. Okay, use our legs. Use our legs. There we go. There we go. He's taking down. 
There we go. So we use our legs. DJ Mack, like I said, four rushes, 33 yards, 8.3 average right now. We want to make sure that we are killing them on the game. And it's always great to have a quarterback that can use his legs to get you out of situations like that. Third and one. Wicks is back in the game. He's been an automatic workhorse. I say he finishes off the drive. Wicks easily makes it in the end zone. Touchdown, Keyshawn Wicks. Nine seconds left in the second quarter, and we've absolutely dominated the T.O.P. this quarter. I kid you not. I don't. I can't tell you the last time I seen uh, East Carolina with the ball, and I think that's going to be important. Look at that. 15 plays, 56 yards, 4 minutes and 17 seconds drop. 4 minutes and 17 seconds drop. So that's going to be very important, I think, for us in any matchups that we go in. We have to make sure that uh, we are dominating the T.O.P. Most likely throw one towards the end zone here. And the first time we're able to get into the backfield, which is absolutely amazing and way to end the half. It has been an amazing so half. half, boys. 14-14 is our score at halftime. I'm super proud of our guys. Again, offensively, I'm proud of our guys for staying, keeping us in this game. East Carolina, we we're able to get a stop minutes. there. We we're able to have T.O.P. Great T.O.P. Uh, East Carolina, which I think is going to be super important to win this game. That's literally going to be the biggest difference in this game. Is, I feel like the first person to make the first mistake is going to that's going to be the game. So we're going to start off with the ball first. Um, this is the big show. Go ahead and get the ball back at half. See what we can do. Jennings can't really get the ATR, but he is. Still up and up on us with that touchdown. Shout out to Jennings for that one. Jennings the third. So we had to come out the gate. I think this is important for us to uh, put our foot on our necks, man. I mean, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get the running ball. We gotta run the ball. We gotta get some uh, passes through the air. The main goal is really just to Both sides seem to know what to expect. We, if we go ahead, we're staying ahead. I'm letting you know that now. Out the gate, got to hit Wicks, who's making moves, getting to where he has to go. Wicks picks up six. And again, Wicks has been his sophomore. He's been he's been wonderful for ODU. So I said we gotta keep this momentum going. I think we uh, yeah we, we gotta stay on the ground. I think we give Wicks another. He's he's hungry. Look at him moving easily. Stay on your feet, Wicks. Ah, he, but he gets four. He gets four, and that puts us in a very manageable third and one position right now, which I cannot complain about that. But Again, this is the power of running the ball because then you you're dealing with short short uh, short yardage. Short yardage situation. You know, I'm not in a lot of third and ten situations, third and you know eight. You know I'm, I'm in a lot of third and one, third and twos, and I think these are easy because the way we're running the ball, if he can pick this up and he picks it up, he gets the two. This is what I'm talking about: 12 rushes, 61 yards, 5.1, and a touchdown. This is the kind of dominance that we're gonna need from Keyshawn Wicks throughout the rest of this game in order for us to stay on top. Um, time of possession, like I said, we have to kill the time of possession. We have to make sure we're there. X is there. Can we get there? We can't get there. We overthrow him. So a little bit to see what DJ Mack uh, arm is like. And, you know, accuracy may be a thing. That's typically what it is with most scrambling quarterbacks. So we're going to try to... We're gonna try to groom that. We're gonna try to get that better because we gotta be able to make plays, especially when our guys are, uh, you know, beating the guys on the outside. We gotta be able to deliver that ball to them. So here we go, play action. We gotta use our legs on this one. We gotta run, move. Okay, we'll take it. Nine, like I said, we'll put us again in another third and one. And these are going to be. This is bread and butter. This is how we're gonna win the game because we keep putting ourselves in situations where we can convert and get a fresh uh, set of downs. So. Again, the run has been wonderful. Wicks has been doing his job. We're going to go ahead and trust him on the ground and get the first. And Wicks easily picks up the first. And he gives me a little bit more with the cherry on top. 11 rushing yards. Again, 13 rushing yards. 72. I mean, 13 attempts, 72 rushing yards. 5.5 average with a touchdown. Right now, this offensive Can't coordinator has ask really more as a coach. The way this offense um, is ten first downs, the like this, That's ten first downs is a lot. Down you know what I'm saying? So we are able to. Let's see if I can get him out there. And yes, we can. Fly, Jordan Bly gets his first reception of the game, eight yards. We'll take it. Again, we need all of our guys to be able to step uh, step in and show out for us. That's the only way we win this, this game. For sure. this so I think I like this play. I think with third and five, he picks it up. We, there we go. Easy. He drops the ball. All right, 
right, so our first three and out here. There's no way that we can actually go for this. There's no way I would like to go for this. There's a lot of football left to play, and I want to make sure that we pin them back. So first punt of the game. Um, Fleming, back to return it. Here we go. Here we go. Planning a hang time on this one. Here we go. Can we can we can we do something? I'm missing tackles. Can we do something? There we go. Okay. So once again, we, 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 we can't afford to to, to make mistakes like that. We can't afford to um, drop the ball. You know, my, when I used to play, my coach used to always say, if you can touch it, you can catch it, man. He's dotting us down the field. You know, we gotta we gotta make plays. Guys have to step up and make plays, and right now they're not. So here we go. Step up on the run. I can't get there. Here we go. Can I get there? Yes, I can. But that's after he already picks up a crazy game. He is eight rushes, 51 yards. Do anything to disrupt the pass. And obviously, we can't. I'm missing tackles, and he's in there. And just like that, East Carolina is back on top. We couldn't capitalize he got on all coming out of the ball first. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see what we can do on this drive. The goal is definitely to tie it up. I do not want to go into the fourth down with the ball in East, uh, East Carolina's hands. Because There's obviously, as you've seen already, their offense, as usual, we can't stop. Think they need to feel yeah, these, any these, these are consecutive drives where we just could not stop. So let's try to start off through the air, see what we can do in the air. And I'm waiting too long, and I just can't the offensive line get has to at least slow the guy down. All right, we're definitely going to have to use our legs uh, if the opportunity sees fit, which it looks now like it does not. Going we're going to go deep, and our Ali Jennings the third. Ali Jennings the third. Allie Jennings the third, 54-yard reception, which was major. Go for it because four minutes is not a lot of time. There we go. We're going right back with Wicks. Give me something. Give me something. And he makes it out to maybe we'll take three. Fourth and three. Like I said, this puts us in a very awkward position. All right, so we got to hurry up this offense. Um, fourth and three. Try to see if we can get him off guard with a hard count. Uh, Wicks looks like he's tired, so more than likely we're not going to go to that option. He's been working hard this drive. Um, I don't like that. You know, we, we're going to give him a break. I don't want him to fumble or do anything crazy. So we like that. I, I believe this should be open for the scramble. That should be there. Yeah, it is there. It's there. Let's go. Let's go. Mac Jr. Mac Jr. Ah, we can't get in, but we get the first, and we keep the drive alive, and we keep our hopes to winning the game alive. Mac, seven rushes, 43 yards, 6.1 average. I'm loving it. I'm loving to see that from my quarterback. I mean, this is the second or third time this game where where his uh where he uses legs to get us out of a tricky situation. We go with the backup, Watson. Watson gets in super easy. We finally tie the game. Like I said, we need contribution from everybody on the team in order for this to work out. Watson goes. Enjoy the show because they are he's 10 for 10 136 with two touchdowns. It's like it's like we're not even there Like literally seven on zero like this is ridiculous Come on, and we can't get there and they get in the end zone And he's 11 11 three touchdowns So this is just like what I'm saying about this whole situation where it's just like we can't get a stop we have two minutes and 27 seconds left, so like I'm 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 happy with the time that we have, but I mean we just can't keep going this back and forth. Uh, they already have. Here we go, Jennings, 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 Jennings. Beautiful. 45 yard return to start this. He's amped up. This is a way to get us amped up, get the team riled up. Shout out to Jennings who has been, if not like for me, the MVP of the game in this game, making it manageable. Let's see what we can do here. If anything, can we get out of the pocket? Can we scramble? Can we go? We got to get something here. Come on, Matt. Can we pick up the first? We cannot pick up the first. We are in another fourth and one situation. But fourth and one is what I like to call fourth and manageable. It's easy. Like I said, we've been having great success on the ground. I trust my running back to get the uh, get the first down. It's light work. So we're going to go ahead and just get your, your five against my five. Let's go. Your five against my five. And we can't get there. He gets there. We get the first down. Keyshawn Wicks coming through with another clutch fourth down. I want to say we are 100% uh, converting uh, on fourth down this whole game. So 
that's that's real good. Fins have been amazing. We've had one three and out this whole game, and we've just been we've just been doing our thing. So let's see if we can go ahead and punch it in right here. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. R5 against your five. R5 is going to win it out the whole time. And Watson gets in. The backup comes in and does his job. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. The backup needs to come in and do his job. That's how we win football games, fellas. All right, so overtime, here we go. If we get an opportunity to choose first and we get defense, we got to go defense first. Uh, heads, heads it is. We're going to go defense first. Again, set the tone. Come out defensively. Play a great football game. Give the ball back, back to our offense. Allow us to produce because we've been able to produce. But again, it'll be very interesting to see how this goes without uh, Wicks, who was out for the game with a bicep strain. So here we He's go. First play. I'm just missing. Well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Defense, step up for me. Defense, step up for me. Way to get in the backfield. Way to get in the backfield. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Third and seven. We get a stop here. Force a field goal. Allow us to get the ball back. I'm telling you, we're putting the ball in the zone if we end zone if we get the ball back. I'm telling you that right now. They're going deep. They're going deep. He got it. No, he doesn't. No fly zone. No fly zone. No fly zone. No fly zone. Defense finally gets a stop. A stop that we needed in a crucial moment in overtime. We forced the field goal. And honestly, I'm confident because now that we get the ball back, they have not been able to stop us offensively yet. One drive, which we actually shot ourselves in the field. Um, so this is going to be amazing to see us come out victorious for the first game. Uh, our backup, Blake, has been doing very well, so hopefully he can step up in place of Wicks and do, do his job. So we'll see here. Blake coming up. Uh, here we go. Blake, Blake, Blake. Blake. There we go. Wait. Blake. 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 Blake! Blake! Dude! A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. The Pirates, 31, the Big Blue, 28. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time. We played a good game. That's tough. That's tough. Anyways, man. Yeah, that's tough. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video. Smash that subscription button and turn on that notification bell, man. Thank you guys for tuning in to the first episode here on the ODU Rebuild. <laughs> That's tough. Um, all right, y'all. Until next time, see ya.